Good evening and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at some water start recovery techniques so that you can get back up and going as quickly as possible. So let's dive into number one. It's going to be a simple gear repositioning. The first thing I do is look to see how my sail is currently lying in the water. In this scenario, the sail is downwind of the board and is facing with the wind, but to water start, we need the mast lying across the wind. So I'm gonna move the board to help the mast lie across the wind. I move the board downwind and grab the nose to spin it so it faces into the wind. Now you can see the mast is in a better position for the water start and so is the board. And from here, I can get straight into the normal water start position. Example number two. So in this scenario, the board is facing with the nose pointing directly downwind. The mast is lying across the wind, but the clue is facing upwind. So I need to rotate the gear 180 degrees. I start by pushing the board upwind by pushing the board from the nose as I make my way towards the mast. You can see that the equipment is starting to turn. Next, you either grab the boom or the mast with one hand and the other hand is near the nose of the board. Now I'm just gonna swim the equipment towards the wind to try to turn it so that the mast is lying across the wind. Keep going until you're in the normal water start position. Example three. In this scenario, the sail is downwind of the board with the clue again almost into the wind. So I'm gonna move the board into the wind and again make my way to the mast. I have one hand on the tail of the board to keep it where it is, and I grab hold of the mast. This technique is a little bit harder as it requires enough strength and control to manage the sail with just one hand for a few seconds. But if you want, you can use two hands to continue to rotate the sail until it is lying across the wind. The only reason I hold the board is if it's in the direction I want it to be in, and I want it to stay there as I move the sail. And again, we're now in the normal water start position. Okay, technique number two, the clue flip. This one is super useful because it means you don't have to do as much swimming. Admittedly, it's much easier to do on small sails, so anything up to about a six meter. But if you wanna have a go on bigger sails, by all means, go for it. So here, the clue is facing towards the wind and I position myself at the clue. Grab the boom right at the clue on the underside with a strong grip start to pull the clue towards the wind and slightly up. The trick is to not lift the clue too high just yet, or the mast will start to dive underwater. With your other hand, grab really far down the boom towards the mast whilst raising the clue hand and pulling it towards the wind. You should now start to feel the power in the sail and it will want to flip. Let the clue fly up by letting go with the clue hand and the sail will flip. Keep your mast hand strong to stop it from diving below the water surface. Your board might also flip over, but that's fine. You can just flip it back and you should now be positioned back to your normal water start position. Example two. So here again, I'm positioned near the clue of the sail with the sail downwind and the board is upwind. I just do the same as before. Grab the clue, but this time I also need to turn the equipment so that the wind can get underneath the sail. So I've got one hand holding the boom near the clue and one hand on the back of the board and I just do a little bit of swimming upwind to rotate everything. For more control over the sail, I also choose here to move my hands so that one hand is on the boom and one hand is actually on the sail. Then I lift everything high out of the water and allow the sail to flip and the sail will now be set up for the normal water start. Okay, so just watch again as I lift the clue out the water and flip the sail over. Challenge yourself. If you want a bit of a challenge, you can try the sail flip when you are by the clue, but this time the clue is facing downwind. So grab the boom by the clue and push the sail towards the wind. Try to get the mast to rise and the wind to fill the underside of the sail. Keep pushing and the sail should fly up and over your head. Make sure to keep your clue hand strong as the sail flips. Allow it to flip 
and it should now be in a similar position to before with the clue facing close to the wind. So now it's just the same as before. Bring the clue towards the wind, reach with the other hand close to the mast, let go of the clue hand and allow the sail to flip. And now you're set up for the normal water start. Technique number three, flipping the sail to change direction. Here my sail is set up in the correct position for the normal water start, but my board is in a bit of a weird position. So lift the sail up as you would for a normal water start. Now we want to flip the sail so it matches the board. This rig flip is actually very similar to the rig flip of the jive. So if you can already do that, then this will be easy for you. Move your front hand close to the mast and start to move the rig to the side. Similar to steering downwind, extending the front arm and pulling in slightly with the back hand. The board will now start to move. Once the mast base is positioned on the other side of your body, let go with the back hand and allow the sail to flip. Swap your hands to the new side and try to keep the sail flying just above your head. And you're now ready for the normal water start. Example number two. Now let's say you're set up for the water start, but you want to actually go off in the other direction. Move the rig across your body to move the mast base in the new direction. The board should start to turn. Try to keep the power steady in the sail. When the board is positioned on the other side of your body, move your front hand close to the mast and let go with the back hand. As the sail flips, cross your hands over and pick up the new side. If you still need to turn the board more for the water start, increase the power in the sail by pulling in slightly with the back hand. This will get the board moving forwards and will straighten it so that it's pointing in the direction you wanna go. This one is a super useful skill and allows you to get going in either direction. Okay, so technique number four is the clue first water start. This is one of my favorite ways to water start and I find myself using this a lot. So the technique for the clue first water start is pretty much the same as the normal one. The main difference is that you have to point the nose a bit further downwind and try to pull yourself up from the side of the board near the mast base. Also make sure to avoid pulling in too hard with the backhand as you really don't want the clue too close to the wind because it will be very hard to control. You've got to think of the sail as being square to the wind where the boom is lined up across the wind. So when you want to get onto the board, remember to keep your arms fully extended as you bring your body over the board and then up. It will probably feel a little bit uncomfortable to start with when you get up and the power in the sail will feel strange, but you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Then simply flip the sail and get going again. I'll usually try and flip the sail as soon as I'm up as it's quite hard to control in clue first in strong winds. Okay, so technique number five is the fin first water start. Okay, to finish off the video, I'll show you a few advanced techniques that will really test your skills and prove you've mastered the water start. They're not completely necessary, but can be useful if you don't wanna spend any time repositioning your equipment. So example number one. So first up is the standard fin first water start. It's actually the same technique as the normal water start to get onto the board. Position the board across the wind with the fin facing in the direction you will eventually end up going. The back foot goes onto the nose, but close to the mast base, especially on boards which don't have a lot of volume in the nose, as you'll just sink the nose into the water. With your other foot, try to step between the front and the back straps. Now, this is the tricky part. Try to spin the board with your feet by putting more weight on the tail of the board and push with the front foot you'll find you almost end up in a switch stance position. Then once the board has rotated enough, you can quickly swap your feet to their regular position. Example number two, fin first, flipping the sail. In this scenario, everything is the same as before, except this time we're gonna be trying to go in the opposite direction. So once you're up, move your front hand towards the mast, flip the rig and reach for the new side. Example three. Okay, so this one is really just for fun and for the freestylers out there. So we're gonna go for the fin first water start. Once you're up, start to initiate what feels like an upwind 360 with a sail back and turn the tail of the board into the wind. 
Then move the sail forward and get it to backwind. Keep your weight on the back foot to keep the board turning. Now open out the sail and jump round to the other side. If you can hold your balance and the power in the sail, you'll now be set up to start going again. Okay, so that's all I can say for now about water start recovery. Hopefully the first few techniques are really useful for you and actually helped and the last ones were maybe just a bit more for fun. Let me know down in the comments below what technique you're working on. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.